Yes. Okay, Mrs. Yarns. I totally understand, and I'll have a talk with Coco. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yes, I completely understand. Okay, I'll, I'll talk to you soon. All right, bye. Do you have something to tell me? Um, uh, not really. Coco, why is Mrs. Yarn saying that you got into an altercation with somebody named Eddie at school? Because Eddie, he messed with the wrong one. I should've- Oh, ma'am, what happened? Mama, Eddie's a huge bully and I'm sick of it and I'm sick of him. He thinks he can get what he wants, when he wants it, and since nobody wanted to step to him, I did. Okay, first of all, lower your tone. And what did Eddie do? The real question is what hasn't he done? Every day, he's stealing people's lunches, making them cry, he's mean to everybody, and he even put gum on the teacher's chair. And when he stood up, there was gum on his pants and they were ruined. Oh my goodness. Has Eddie gotten into any trouble for this? The problem is he never gets in trouble. The teacher just thinks he's angelic and that he's the sweetest thing in the whole wide world. He is horrible. Horrible, horrible. I tell you, he's horrible, mama. Okay, okay. Calm down, calm down. I get it. Look, Coco, I understand. But you cannot get into trouble at school. But I do want you to stand up for yourself and I don't want anyone bullying you. And I remember you telling me that, and that is why I handle Eddie appropriately. <laughs> I'm afraid to ask how you handled him. <laughs> well, I didn't do what I really wanted to do to him. <laughs> but I told him there was a bug on his shoulder, and I told him he was about to eat his ear off. Mama, you should have seen him. He was squirming and screaming. <laughs> and then I told him there was more bugs on him, and then everybody was laughing. You should have seen it. <laughs> Well, that was pretty clever. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but see, Mama, nobody was hurt physically. And finally, Eddie felt what it felt like to be embarrassed. It's not right to make people feel horrible every day. Yeah, well, I do understand what you mean, Coco. And guess what? What? <laughs> After he ran and told the teacher who called you, I mouthed to him, you better not bother anybody else or there'll be mice in your pants. And he ran out screaming and crying. Coco! I'm sorry, but Eddie was gonna learn today. No bullies allowed. Now, now, Coco, you know that's a no-no. Every time we turn our heads, you're always in.